Dihar bang kak, din hira kak Din hira kak, kak musah kak wang antro Din hira kak, bang kuat Yeah? I don't know Okay I don't know what we're talking about Okay, what is this stuff called? My friend Jason here, he's the famous coconut husker With all the views um, what is this called? Anunumpai? Anunumpai. Anunumpai. The soles, the soles of their feet have got to be half an inch thick and contain absolutely zero nerve endings. We had a landslide here and lost a little bit of the hill. Went right down into the river. Yeah. Su Suba? Suba. Suba. Suba river. River Suba. My gosh, it's raining hard now. I just got a little lesson that the wood we're using for the fence is called malbago. And... Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'm a Hi there, once again, welcome back to Beekeeping in Paradise. I'm on the farm. Got my friend Rosalind with me. She showed up. Her papa, Bigoy, is here. We got horses today. And we've got a whole crew. We got about four, five, six, five or six fellows with us today. But now we're on to phase two. Um, hey, Rosalind, how are you? Yeah, say hi. Okay. Um, so we're on to phase two of our fencing project. Uh, now uh, I was able to enlist the help of a few other uh, strong fellas. And we are working on getting uh, this main part of the, uh, of the farm fenced in. Uh, we're putting, we came out the other day and strung up a line right along the border uh, along the property line and now today I brought my Lazada post hole digger back to see if you know it's had a few days off it's had a chance to relax and recover that thing is a piece of junk it started right up as soon as I put any pressure downward and gave it the gas to try and start digging it would conk out and stop working Pull the digger out of the hole, start it right up again, give it a few good revs, go up to full speed. I put it in the hole, it had stopped going full speed. As soon as I would give it more gas, the engine would die. And uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's raining today. Pretty hard. I mean, not hard, but significantly. Um, so, all of my workers. They had a good laugh at my expense with the uh, digging machine. They were all fascinated, like, wow, is this guy going to really help us out and get this thing going? And uh, the answer to that was absolutely no. I even uh, tried switching over to a smaller drill bit to see if it would give it, uh, you know, less, less stress. But as soon as I did that, the machine wouldn't start again. So um, it's definitely going to the mechanic. Um, and uh, if they can't do anything with it, it'll be going to the trash because it is garbage. Um, this, this is a fun day. The girls are having a good time. Shelby didn't come with me today. She wanted to stay home. Uh, I think she knew it was going to rain and she wouldn't be her idea of a good time to be out playing in the rain. But, um... These fellas have got uh, their bara and the shovels and they are uh, starting to dig these fence posts. Uh, Digoy's down there digging a fence post. So we got, everybody's taking turns. We brought uh, cement with us today. We brought rebar with us today. We brought uh, PVC pipe with us today. And wait until you see what we have going on once these, once these holes get dug. Um, you're gonna you're gonna really be thrilled with uh, what's going on my gosh it's raining hard now and uh, 
it's just we're just getting started we've only been out here working for about 15 minutes I, I guarantee you we had over a thousand pounds of uh, gear plus three full-grown men in the truck today uh, and that little b-mobile was struggling getting up some of these mountain roads so when the when the incline on the mountains on the highway uh, got a little steeper I was down into second gear it was a little rough it was kind of sketchy but uh, anyway we've got a lot of work to do today Jason's here, the most famous coconut husker in the world. Over 57,000 views husking coconuts. I got a couple of new guys over here. He's over here digging. Guys. Oh, he goes quick. Let's show you what we got going here. Here's our line that we've strung along the property line from uh, surveyor mark to surveyor mark all the way around the property around two sides my publings up there at the top of the and they're digging a hole for a concrete post at the top we we'll probably put one about halfway down and we get down to here and this is about where we plan on having a gate between these first two posts here um, I measured it out a few days ago. It's about 15 feet, which should be big enough for uh, any kind of a truck to get in. One way in, one way out. And uh, we've got rebar down in the hole. Oh, nice square hole. I'll be done. And uh, we got more. And we've just got one line of these down here and when once we turn the corner I think we may end up with uh, concrete posts in the corner in the corners for added support and strength but the rest of the fence on this side and on the other side uh, will be a uh, living fence and uh, they will be they will turn into trees uh, with barbed wire uh, attached so that is going to be fun we're going to have another gate on the other side of the property as well um, where our property gets closest to the road so uh, we'll end up with two gates and uh, a mixture of concrete and living fence. all right well we had a nice lunch and uh, the skies turned cloudy and then it started to rain again and uh, now we're on our way to the river but right before lunch I got sent back to town to go get the rest of the wood and to get some uh, woven sacks like feed sacks uh, so we can haul sand from the river so we can haul sacks of sand from the river back over here so we can mix it with the Portland cement and some water and get these concrete posts in. So. All right, here we go.
didn't know we were going to the other side of the river. I am not a, I am not dressed for this. All right, we're going in. Am I wet? Yes. Am I gonna get wetter? Yes. I'm very used to wearing shoes. Therefore, I'm kind of a tender one. animals. I don't know how they're doing that with a hundred pounds of sand on their back. The stones on the bottom are a little on the sharp side. And they're walking up barefoot. They've got to have the soles. The soles of their feet have got to be a half an inch thick and contain absolutely zero nerve endings. I don't know how they do that. I think those are the guys that do the fire walking because. I don't think they can feel anything in their feet. So now, now that I'm wet, I have to put my socks back like on or else I'm not going to be able to get back up with her. Because I can't do it barefoot. Mm -mm. I better go down and find the guys. It looks like they're... I can't. I just marched up this, uh, this ridge line and I found the girls and I said, well, where's everybody? And they're like, uh, I think over there. I, I just walked up that way. There was nobody there. And I turned around. I walked back up here again. Looked down. And sure enough, everybody's back down at the bottom of the hill again. I don't know how we missed each other. But we did. So I'll go see what's happening. Things are really starting to come along. I am covered in little ants. But check out this fence. Concrete's not in yet, but it's laid out. There's our boundary marker with the uh, string coming down. Fence post number one. Go along. Check this out. We've got living fence, tree post, or wooden post. Another concrete, wooden, wooden, concrete. Two more wood. I 
I just got a little lesson that the wood we're using for the fence is called malbago. And apparently you can cut a limb off and stick it in the ground and it'll continue to grow just like the malungai tree. So I think this is pretty exciting. These are going in. So technically we've planted about 10 trees today. 10 Malbago trees, maybe more, but uh, this place is getting more beautiful by the minute. Okay, we're making progress now. We got concrete in the holes, filling the pipe, rebar in moving along the living fence is up concrete is going in looking very nice This is your specialty? <laughs> you the expert? The mud man. Got it down. It's a nice consistency. What's the name of Pengalan? JR. JR? Nice to meet you, JR. Doing a good job. It's Sunday morning. Everybody showed up before I did, and uh, I kind of stayed behind and at the house gathering up materials. Got the barbed wire, the nails, wheelbarrow, uh, hammer, pliers, and uh, then I went, I went on a food run, get some uh, lechon manok, roasted chicken, and some bread and snacks for the guys show up deliver everything and then I'm told go with Tigoy go with Rodrigo he wants to show you something so that's what I'm doing coming out to learn something something on the boundary oh. all right we're in the bee yard 
just walked from the Payag over to the bee yard. And making our way up the side of the next ridge line here to our boundary and again I don't know why do as I'm told. Where are we going? Another post up there? Uh, what's over here? What's that? Just a <laughs> Neighbors? Oh. Other house? Oh, Another house? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Okay, so there's a post up there. Oh. Right? Oh, And you want to put the you want to put this? Uh, string from the post and where's the other post how the heck did he... this has to be one of the coolest looking trees I've ever seen it kind of looks bamboo like down here but I don't think it's bamboo I don't know why somebody's been cutting down these leaves they look like a they look like coconut leaves but I know they're not I just have no idea what this is it's almost rolled like a like a you know it's in layers like a banana tree but I don't know what it is. You made it. Okay, we got a line all the way up to there. No more. <laughs> no more. No. No. So. How far do we have to go? Oh, Harsan for help. Huh? Harsan. Hello, hello. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay, Ra. Dude's machete is sharp. That thing must be have a razor blade edge on it. last post marker marker post is well worth the effort of getting to when you can see this view yeah 
Beautiful. Look at those trees in the mountains. But this is very soft. Oh. It's a landslide, yeah. We had a landslide here and lost a little bit of the hill. Went right down into the river. Yeah. Su Suba? Suba. Suba. Suba River. River Suba. Yeah, ready enough. Yeah, definitely a beautiful view. I'm gonna have to. I think they want to. Yeah, we'll go this way. Easier. We definitely need to carve a better path through here. Um, but that'd be a nice. That'd be a nice little nature hike. I'm I'm envisioning pathways through here. Hey, Digoy. Hi, Nanka. Huh? Nanka. Another Nanka? Oh. Oh yeah, those are nice ones. <laughs> All right. Hey, what what do you call this? What is this? What? This one? Yeah. What is this? Tagbak. Tagbak. Oh. Oh. Damu. Hmm. Damu. Damu. Oh. Damu. Tagbak. And there's another one of those. Ant nests, but look at that! Another jackfruit tree. Oh, oh I'm back. Oh, back in my happy spot, my happy place. Oh. Daughter's here with her friends, and of course, they're happy because they're eating grapes. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's take a look at what the guys did before I got here today. They had a whole bunch of uh, concrete posts put in. They were already mixing concrete. They're mixing more concrete right now. And they had a bunch of the wooden stakes, uh, living tree uh, fence posts already up. So let's take a walk and see that we've got here. It's looking good. These guys are amazing. So, let's see here. This is our opening for the gate. And they got those in first, it looks like. And looks cool. We've only been in there a few hours. They're already pretty solid. There's another one. And you can see they go down to that corner there where they anchored it with a concrete post. Then the property turns a corner. And goes off this way at that angle. And that's where Dugoy, or pardon me, that's where Digoy lives with his kids and his wife. And you can see him up there. All right. The professionals are at work stretching the barbed wire. You got Digoy and JR down here. <laughs> Slide bubbling is stretching it up there to attach it to the first post. <laughs>
Yeah, it was only down by the river for a few minutes. I come back, and these guys really know what they're doing. This fence is nearly complete. now folks so so close this is this is an important step once we can secure the property then we can basically move forward in any direction we need to to make uh, improvements and we know that they're not going to be uh, you know we're not going to be taking steps in the wrong direction or hampered by uh, large animals Wow, there you go. Hold on. They're putting up this gate here. It's been a very productive day. The barbed wire is up, as you saw on the other side, from post to post. Then the guys got real inspired and went up the ridge line, connecting the rice field over to uh, this base camp side. So they went halfway up the, to right to the top of the ridge line and started shooting across down that way, right along the property line. And they used up the rest of the uh, barbed wire to make the uh, to make to form in that perimeter and because our concrete was still wet along this side you can't put barbed wire up today uh, on that one so I'm gonna have to go and buy another I think two spools of barbed wire and then we will they will be back next weekend and they'll finish uh, all they'll have to do is really string the barbed wire. They got a lot of posts in. They installed a gate over here so that Degoy has no problem getting in or the girls can get over here whenever they need to. And uh, then, but pretty much the rest of the property is gonna be um, fenced in and uh, should be very well protected. So um, things are coming along and they are taking shape. We're getting everything packed up right now, calling it quits for the day. <clears throat> just had a fantastic weekend, uh, getting so much done. We just had a snack of uh, coconuts, and uh, one of the guys is a coconut harvester, so he hopped up one of the trees and dropped enough coconuts for each one of us uh, to have a good drink, <laughs> and uh, then we scraped out the, the young meat, had a little snack that was really nice and uh, Shelby was actually asking for Lamau uh, earlier today we didn't have any milk to go with it but uh, she at least she got her uh, she got her buco juice and she got to eat a little buco meat so she's happy and she's very satisfied with that remember I'm Brent this is beekeeping in paradise Reminding you, no matter where you are in the world, if you've got bees, even if they're Apis serrana and just hanging around, get a little taste of salt. If you've got bees, you are definitely beekeeping in paradise. Be well, be kind, be safe, and God bless. I love y'all. All right, tell me, tell me again, what is this stuff called? My friend Jason here, he's the famous coconut husker <laughs> with all the views. Um, what is this called? Anunumpai. 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 Is it? It's a. It's a root. Yeah. Okay. Root. From a tree, and you're supposed to cut four inches of it. You cut four inches of it off and put it in the glass. Fill the glass with water, and you soak it 
for three or four hours and then after your meal yeah. you drink it you drink the water mm. and you put the root back in with more water and then you wait for your next meal and then drink it again yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you put more water and then after dinner mm. you take it again so anunumpai what is it and uh, what does it translate into uh, into English and I got these doggone honeybees all over me again um, but what's it taste like what does it taste like uh, delicious tastes good okay and you do this yeah and this is how you become so strong and now you're very strong because you use this every day every day wow okay can't come you can't argue with success all right i'll have to give it a try yeah. okay try thank you okay i will all right anonumpai i need to find out what that is in english and uh it comes highly recommended uh, yeah <laughs> highly <laughs> recommended from all the guys uh, now your name again is vi oh, val. val okay do you drink this yeah yeah you do it yeah i can take that but um but uh all right i trust you okay not these guys aren't gonna do me wrong so we will give it a try and i'll report back if i start feeling healthier stronger and vigorous like a new man all right